What is up gamers and gearheads, Brutality here to bring you another episode of the Coalition Report where I wrap up all the Gears of War news from the previous week. And for those celebrating, I just want to say a Merry Christmas to all of you and I don't have anything tangible to give you except for Gears of War news, so Merry Christmas to you. You can send me chocolate chip cookies though, they will be accepted. Are you looking for a deal? Hey, who isn't? This isn't a used car commercial, but it is a good deal that you guys may want to check out at GameStop. GameStop is featuring a Gears of War bundle where you can get all four titles for $14.99 and if you are a Power Up card member, you can get it about a dollar and a half cheaper than that. But just note, this is an in-store special only. You cannot get it online. And not to mention that bundle is going to come in handy because there are events going on across all the titles. Black Tusk continues their involvement with community and last weekend hosted a Play With Devs event in which 10 devs from Black Tusk Studios participated in Gears of War 3 gameplay with the community. And Black Tusk also hosted on Sunday a 1v1 competition in which the winner won this sweet controller and $100. Both of these events were hosted on the Black Tusk Studios Twitch, so make sure you guys are subscribed to that for hopefully more events in the future and even maybe some broadcasts, fingers crossed, in the near future. And along with that, make sure you guys are signed up on the forums because signups for these events happen on the forums. Not to mention there are pretty much events happening every week and you can see them there on the forums. If they are not hosted by Black Tusk themselves, there are other people in the community stepping up and hosting fun events. And speaking of events, Hypefest Station is dabbling in some events themselves. We've got overrun nights on Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. You can also find Gears of War 1 Throwback Thursdays every Thursday, also at 9 p.m. Eastern. It may be 10 p.m. Eastern, and I'm talking out of turn, but it's around those times. And if you're not sure you'll be able to participate that night, you can show up on the stream and be like, hey, do you have any room you want to invite me so we can shoot each other in the face? That sounds like fun. And Sunday, during the 1v1 tournament hosted by Black Tusk, there was an announcement of a new hype festation land that will be taking place February 20th through the 22nd in Pennsylvania. Now a lot of information other than just the announcement has not been rolled out to the community yet, however I will get it out to you as soon as Hypefestation announces a little bit more information about it. But before that even happens, we have an Ashes to Ashes 4v4 Gears of War 3 online tournament that will be happening. Oh yeah! Uh oh, and you know what that sound means? No you don't because this is the first time I've used it, but it means that we have a special guest with us. What is up gearheads? Okay, so today we have a special guest again on the Coalition Report. We have, I think, one of the most frequent guests that we've had. We've got the bandana man, Captain Barbosa, with us. <laughs> Thank you, Britt. <laughs> Thanks for saving the seat, by the way. <laughs> we have the Ashes to Ashes tournament. It's a 4v4 Gears of War 3 tournament coming up in January. Tell us a little bit about the specifics of that tournament. Uh, well, again, it's the, the staff wants to experiment. We've got new methods and new brackets and stuff like this, and we want to get a speed tournament done. And so it was supposed to be our farewell, the Gears in 2014, but the Lizard Squad wasn't having that. So, uh, But it, it is a staff demonstration on us working together, practicing, making things run smoothly, quickly, uh, making the show exciting. I'll be demonstrating some new uh, video workflows that I have and some bells and whistles I don't think have been seen on a live stream. So cool. I'm really excited to surprise everybody with that stuff. Working out the kinks for 2015, right? Exactly. So as far as the tournament goes, how many teams are there and is there still spots to sign up if they're interested? Well, Adriana, aka Katis Frisky, told me that we are full at 64. And that we also have a waiting list because just, you know, you know how free tournaments are. Right. There's no obligation to be there. So with that waiting list, if you're at least on the waiting list, the minute we take a match and someone's late, we ask the team that's on the waiting list and then you're in. The other team is pretty much out of the tournament. So. Okay, so don't give up all hope. You can still pretty much sign up and be on yes. the list. Yes. Again, it's a free tournament. So uh, obligations for a free tournament are very low. Like, oh, well, I guess we can't make it. It's no, no big deal because it's free. So... Still sign up, still be ready to play, and depending on where you are on that waiting list, 
you still might be getting into this tournament. Most likely, you will be getting into this tournament. Like, I, I would say at least 10 names on the waiting list will probably make it into the tournament. <laughs> okay. Um, now, even though it is free, we do have a bit of a prize pot to give away, right? Yes, we have a $300 prize pot, and it's all been kind of submitted by Hype members, and we, ha we passed around a hat kind of thing, and yeah, we're just trying to make it worth something you know like when you when you get to the later end of the bracket like you know you're actually playing for something and there's something on the line uh it, i'm sure as the tournament goes on it, it'll be taken more serious it's not a free tournament anymore but hey we actually are in this to win it so we wanted right. to add that pressure cool now what can we expect uh as far as hype Station goes for 2015 are there any solid plans yet or are we still waiting for announcements what are we doing uh I could say I have theoretical solid plans, okay. and that's mainly based on if Microsoft slash Black Tusk Studios wants to release information next year. I have no idea where they are in development. I have no idea if they're ready to announce anything, but without some sort of release from them, the hype, the popularity, and the buzz around Gears of War 3 is at like an all-time low in the mainstream and esports eyes. You know, we, we all these gearheads love the game. But in terms of business and esports and relevance, it's at a very, very low place. Right. So we, we, we need that. And if that happens, then you can guarantee a, a land or two is going to pop up once some announcements and some buzz starts getting thrown around. The weekend of the tournament, where the staff is thinking about actually making that a, a fundraiser. Uh, you know how there's Kickstarters, where we're going to kind of call it a quote unquote hype starter. And uh, we're gonna try and raise funds. I know it's not like a charity or anything, but if you guys love gears and you love going to hype events, uh, it would help us out tremendously. We're gonna try to set a goal. With, with those funds, I, I can get Hype Station some amazing gear and put on a really awesome show and give us some more relevance. And that's what we need. We need relevance. The, the players wanna feel more relevant, you know, and the, right. the events need to feel more relevant. So if everybody pitches in, we can get that relevance level up and awesome and uh, you'll expect really good things in 2015. So all the money for the uh, hype starter will go to a land tournament, basically. Not just one. Like, okay. we're, we're talking about improving all the operations of hype. And video production and, and, and things to make the tournaments go smoother and some software maybe even to pass around scores real fast okay. by the refs. So there's a lot of things that we want to invest in. We just, you know, w w with a... Uh, a game that's not so popular we're just not getting the attention and funds we need to do that right right all right all right guys well you heard him here but so i'll let you do your sign off this is the captain out Thank you, Barbosa, for joining us. Now for the last piece of news that we have announced on Sunday. Also, so much news happening on Sunday. There was an announcement of a new member of the Black Tusk Studios teams that came from the competitive community. Strangulate from Synergy has joined the Black Tusk team as a QA tester, and he made a little bit of a video about it, so you guys can check that out on his YouTube channel. And that, my good gears, is all the news I have for you from last week. Hopefully, we'll get some more news this week, but it's probably not going to happen because, hey, it's the holidays. Now, that would be a very Merry Christmas if the New Gears of War was announced, but don't hold your breath, guys, because you'll die. You're going to die if you do that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday, and if you guys don't celebrate it, just have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of the week. Love you guys. If you guys enjoyed the content, please leave a like and or a comment. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love to see more of you. Thank you guys again for watching. Hope you have a wonderful week. Until the cog turns again, we'll have some more news for you next time. <laughs>